the truth is out. Here's the real reason why former Obama officials are panicking over security clearances by Amy Moreno for truthfeednews.com. Clinton cash author Peter Schweitzer uh, has blown the lid off the security clearance racket. Schweitzer uh, appeared on Sean Hannity where uh, he explained that people like James Clapper and John Brennan use their security clearance as a way to rake in the cash. From Breitbart, Peter Schweizer, president of the Government Accountability Institute, GAI, explained how former FBI Director James Comey and Robert Mueller leveraged their government positions for self-enrichment. He joined his colleague, Seamus uh, Bruner, a GAI researcher, to discuss the latter's forthcoming book, Compromised, How, Many, uh, How Money and Politics Drive FBI Corruption. In a Friday interview with Sean Hannity, Hannity opened the interview with questions. How is it that these uh, politicians have become filthy rich? They're supposed to be public servants. Where does the money come from? What are the conflicts of interest? Hannity drew from Bruner's uh, new book, James Comey's net worth has skyrocketed 4,000%. By the time he left the Department of Justice in 2005 and came back in 2013, James Comey made $6.1 million dollars after Robert Mueller granted his employer, Lockheed Martin, the largest contractor in history, a billion-dollar uh, boondoggle under Mueller's direction, the FBI granted multiple spy contracts to Lockheed Martin, while Comey was advising them on the legality of their operations. Comey also received another $6 million working for one of the world's largest hedge funds and an additional $500,000 for unused vacation time. Mueller cashed in as well, continued Hannity. In 2013, when Comey took over the FBI, while Mueller left to start consulting at a consulting firm, he made more than $3.5 million in about uh, a year giving speeches and representing clients who had previously enriched his FBI director, clients like the world's most profitable spy corporation. Apple and Facebook are both former clients of Mueller's is consulting firm with the former providing Paul Manafort's iCloud data to Mueller's team of lawyers. Hannity re read, two of Mueller's former clients are cooperating with the special counsel, Facebook and Apple. Mueller's former client, the paragon of privacy, Apple Inc., provided the special counsel with access to Paul Manafort's iCloud despite making a public spectacle protecting the San Bernardino uh, privacy. Right, I remember that. Mueller's former client and another, uh, and another paragon of privacy, Facebook, may be cooperating with the special counsel voluntarily without a subpoena, according to congressional testimony from CEO Mark Zuckerberg. Schweizer described Comey and Mueller as a tag team, quote, engaged in the revolving door of crony capitalism. Jim Comey and Robert Mueller are very close friends, said Schweizer. Uh, they met each other in the 1990s at the uh, Justice Department and have re uh, really been sort of this tag team from the beginning. When one of them is in the private sector and one is in government, they steer contracts in the direction of people they're affiliated with and vice versa. It's a very troubling story that shows the revolving door applies every bit as much to these gentlemen and crony capitalism applies every bit as much as it does to other people in Washington. Bruner said Mueller was a senior vice president of Lockheed Martin. 
and general counsel, so he was the top lawyer at the largest contractor in U.S. history. Lockheed Martin gets about $50 billion a year. 95% of that is in taxpayer money. And James Comey, who's never been the general counsel of a corporation that large, comes in 2005, and by 2009, He's made $6.1 million just in that year alone in cash and stock options, uh, and that's uh, disclosed in SEC documents. This is after Robert Mueller gives a program in 2008 called Next Generation Identification to Lockheed Martin. It is a surveillance program with biometric facial recognition, basically turning everyone's face into a fingerprint. The Electronic Privacy Information Center, EPIC, describes next generation identification, NGI, as poised to become the largest biometric database in the world which will include fingerprints, iris scans, DNA profiles, voice identification profiles, palm prints, and photographs. It warns of NGI's inclusion of millions of individuals who are neither criminals nor suspects in its database. Many of these individuals will be unaware that their images and other biometric identifiers are being captured and used. Bruner said some federal contracts procured by the FBI during Mueller's uh, directorship were unlikely to have been competitively selected using best practices for procurement, including contracts valued as highly as $100 million. Like Pete, uh, Peter said, Comey and Mueller kind of work as a tag team, said Br uh, Bruner. So Robert Mueller leaves the FBI dictatorship in uh, 2013, and James Comey takes over. Mueller goes and sets up uh, Robert Mueller and Associates, a consulting firm. He starts giving speeches, much like the Clintons do, and he returns to his old firm, Wilmer Hale, and some of Mueller's clients are really interesting characters. You've got Apple Inc. and Facebook Inc. Both of those corporations are now cooperating with the special counsel. Bruner noted Apple's refusal to comply with court orders directing it to unlock and decrypt the iPhone of Saeed Riz Rizwan Farouk, one of the perpetrators, uh, you know, in Bernardino, Apple Inc. kind of sells itself as a paragon of privacy. And if they're going to keep your data private, he said, the uh, San, uh, you know, in a very public, is a very public example where they resisted court orders to unlock the phones. Meanwhile, they cooperated with a subpoena from Robert Mueller's special counsel to pull Manafort's iCloud. Yeah. That you can open up, but we can't open up the other one, right? Hannity remarked, Apple received a court order to give over Paul Manafort's iCloud data while they refused a court order to unlock the, uh, the iPhones of the other perpetrators. Schweitzer explained how security clearances held by former government officials are monetized for self-enrichment. If you do not have a security clearance as a retired FBI director or former DOJ senior executive, if you don't have access to that security clearance, you can't work for these contractors, stated Schweitzer. Is that interesting? Wow. It's not just an issue of John Brennan or James Comey or whoever having access to these clearances for purposes of knowing what's going on. It actually affects their bottom line in a big way. Schweizer added, this uh, revolving door is a big problem. We know that it happens in the Pentagon. We know that uh, health and human services people do favorable things for, say, a pharmaceutical company, and then they leave to go to work for this pharmaceutical company. The same thing is going on at the FBI and DOJ, and James Comey and Robert Mueller are involved in it. Schweitzer explained the motivations behind the political and news media 
uh, recalcitrance uh, towards President Trump. Yeah, that I would say, yeah, it's worse than recalcitrance towards President Trump's removal of security clearance from uh, former Obama-era intelligence officials John Brennan and James Clapper. One of the reasons you're going to see a lot of pushback and a lot of screaming on this issue of security clearances is that it goes to the heart of their ability to cash in, said Schweizer. If they don't have a security clearance, they cannot cash in with their these contractors in this way. So Schweizer went on, it's a huge issue because if you work for a contractor, let's say you're a former assistant director of the FBI and you go to work for Lockheed Martin, or you go to uh, Booz Allen Hamilton or one of these other consulting firms, you are working on classified projects and you need a security clearance. So if you are a uh, John Brennan, for example, who was a contractor, after he left the intelligence services, those opportunities dry up. Booz Allen Hamilton can't hire you. Lockheed Martin can't hire you to work on any intelligence programs because those programs are classified. Access to, stop, uh, to top secret security clearances is key if you are going to work for the multitude of contractors out there working in national security or the intelligence space. You know, you know, th these people are profiting off the uh, American taxpayer in, in a big way, you know? I mean, really? I mean, this should be, uh, this actually should be illegal to be doing this with your security clearance. And, and yet there, the government, well, yeah, because th this government is, uh, is like a banana republic at this point. You mean to tell me none of the other pre previous presidents knew this was going on? This has been going on for decades. So, so why did they allow this? Like, why should people be allowed to profit this kind of money off of these security clearances, you know? And, and profiting... Uh, to get more data on us. Meanwhile, they profit big time. I mean, uh, you, what's going on? What is going on? But this should be a very interesting read uh, by how money and politics drive FBI corruption. Yeah, that is a, that must be an interesting read if we got this kind of information on just this, this little, uh, this little um, clip here. Uh, very uh, interesting. You know, I mean, it, it, it's disturbing, but, you know, it's more disturbing because you don't know what Brennan's doing behind the scenes because these people uh, actually uh, despise America. That's what the problem is. It's not only like the money that they're making, but they actually hate America. And don't look at him wearing that little sticker around his, uh, that little bracelet, uh, you know, around his uh, wrist. He's a, he's a real uh, devious human being, real devious, along with Mueller. Mueller, uh, everybody's afraid to talk out against Mueller, to speak out against him. I mean, why? Because he, he, he makes a lot of money. And how much do we know he's not getting it under the table, too? You know, how do we know? What shows up front? He's getting because he's, he's really a devious character, too, Mueller. And that moron Comey, can you imagine him making that kind of money? You know, that's why he, they're arrogant too. That's why they're arrogant because they have a lot of clout. They have a lot of money. A lot of people working all for one, uh, for one uh, pot, so to speak. You know, as long as I make a fortune, who cares? That's what they say. It's disgusting. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.